all doing today. So to start out, this one class can be a mix of ABC fitness and stability, I would say. So we're gonna hit a lot of stuff, get some balance in. We're gonna start out just with a slight warm up here. So just marching it out, marching it out. Bringing those heels back. Got Mr. Scott here today. <laughs> Let's reach across here. I think it might make this like a five hour class for Scott just to sit through. <laughs> Bringing those arms up. I think last time I did these, it was when it was really hot out. And now it's like February. Bring those arms down, shoulder rolls. For this was the day in February we got a lot of snow. Reverse it. And then when people watch this in July, they're like, I don't remember that day. Let's go left ear, left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Just a nice stretch before we get into it. Okay, coming out of this, we're gonna to start today just with a single leg balance. Just to start with that coming up here. There's an imaginary chair by me holding it if you need to. Or just challenging yourselves. Again, having a chair by you, you could do a kickstand toe on the ground just to make it, let's see, there I go. Keep balancing. Scott's probably zooming in on my foot that's wobbling right now. Three, two, relax here, switching sides. Another one coming up. And hold. I stubbed this toe last night and I was like, oh no, no, I won't be able to balance today. And I can't cancel on Scott anymore. But it's okay. That's feeling good. Keep holding. And three two, one, coming out of this here, tandem balance, heel to toe. Again, if you want to, ever want to make it easier, you bring that foot out a little bit, stagger it, or just line it up heel to toe, getting that balance. We're gonna make it a little harder here, and now close the eyes and balance. Hopefully Scott has not left the room and now it's just me talking to nobody. Keep holding. Three, two, relax, switching sides. You can modify if you want to or line them up. Keep those eyes open to start. And now let's close the eyes and balance. Holding it, opening the eyes occasionally if you need to. Modify to a wink if you know how. I can't really do it. Keep holding. Three, two, and one coming out of this here. Can I read my handwriting? I can. Calf raise holds next. So toes pointing forward, feet shoulder width apart. Just coming up on those toes and hold. Oh, I can really feel that stubbed toe now. I blame the shoes. I was wearing my hokas and just easier to blame the shoes. Now that'd be a really bad advertisement for Hoka's. I stubbed my toes on your shoes. 
three, two, and down. Now from here, keeping those heels on the ground, same thing, lift, whoop, there we go. Lift the toes off. I enjoy this one, but it's not the most exciting action shot. You know, it's like you just look like you're standing. But those toes are off, I promise. Keep holding. Three, two, relax. Coming into a single leg balance here. Right leg staying planted. One leg out. Making circles. You can make big circles, small circles. Again, by the imaginary chair. Switching directions. Making those circles. That's a tough one. And three, two, one. Switching feet here. Other foot planted. Make those circles. Making those circles. By that chair. Whatever shape you want. Switch directions. Keep making those circles. And this one's hard for me on this one. Three, two, relax here. So we're gonna do some tandem walks. So if you're gonna be by a bar, make sure you're either facing the door or the wall behind me. But we're gonna go heel to toe, walking it forward and back. You can do two steps, three steps. Really good. Hopefully you never have to use this when you're pulled over because you weren't drinking or driving. Also more of an advertisement to not drink and drive. More of a PSA. Three, two, and relax. Now, single leg balance. Holding on to that chair. From here, we're gonna do a hinge forward. So that back leg following the torso, leaning forward and back up. Forward and back. You can do a tiny hinge. You could go a little deeper. Kind of explore that range of motion. Just leaning forward and back by that chair, forward and back. Don't lean or hold a person. Would not be good at all. Three, two, relax. Switching feet here, left foot. And again, hinging forward and back, forward and back. Just that slight hinge, going at your own pace too. It's not a race. Take your time. This foot's really wobbling. Three, two, and relax here. All right, one more balance one, then we'll get into it. Right leg gonna stay planted, single leg balance. One leg out to the side and pulse. If the pulsing feels bad on the hip, just hold instead. Whatever you're feeling here, maybe you're like, Josh, I'm not even like working out while you're doing this right now. That's okay. It's probably Jim talking in ABC Fitness. Knowing him. Three, two, Relax, switching legs here. Oh, and pulse. This video is also being shot after the Super Bowl, shortly after, so quick reactions. Kansas City won, that was crazy. Scott had money on the 49ers. 
and Purdy being the MVP. Three, two, relax here. Grabbing water if you want. Next one, we're gonna use the bands. So for the bands, they're all along the room. If you just look in a general direction, you'll find one. Make sure it's the loop band. That's the knot tied to it. You don't want just a flat band. Bracelet method or handcuff if you want to look at it that way. We're going to start with those elbows at our side, palms facing each other, and more pulses. Keeping those elbows in, just waking those shoulder muscles up here. Just going. Bring those elbows up a little bit more. I forget if we used bands in the first videos. I don't think we did. This is a whole new thing. Bringing those elbows to shoulder height. Keep pulsing. Bringing those elbows back down to our side, palms facing the ceiling. And pulse here. Uh, if you ever want to make it harder to bring those elbows up a little bit. We have green bands, blue bands, red bands, and up again. And that'll really make this more of a fun workout. It's already fun. Down to our side, palms facing each other. Press it forward and back. For these, make sure you keep intention on that band so you don't want the hands close. Just out a little bit, feeling that tension. Pressing at a 45 degree angle. Don't worry, we're not gonna do the band and the weights today. And all the way up, all the way down. I feel like that'd be a little cruel to do that. Coming out of this here, holding on to the band now. So bring one arm out for me, it's gonna be my, my right arm extended, bending the left, left hand to the armpit and back, and back. If we were ever in PT, any therapy, and did these, bow and arrow, reaching forward and back, forward and back. From here, we're gonna hold the left arm at the left armpit, bending the right, and now bring that right hand up, like you're throwing a dart, keeping that elbow shoulder height as we go here. Really working the tricep, the elbow. Just gonna be a total body workout today. Keep that elbow up. Three, two, switching sides. Left arm out, bending the right, right hand to the armpit and back. Hopefully the band doesn't snap on you also. We've only had that happen once. And they got out of the hospital just fine. No, they didn't go to the hospital. Wouldn't that be a story though? <laughs> Keeping that right arm at the armpit, extending like you're throwing the dart now, left-handed. Try not to think to yourself, Josh, that band's really close to your eye and could snap. It could. That's the risk you take coming to Uptown Social. No, we still got a perfect record on this. Not jinxing it today, or else this video probably won't come out. Probably that. Only Scott would know what happened. Coming out of this here, we're gonna go back to bracelet. For this one, we're gonna have our elbows are gonna be a little under shoulder height. Hands are gonna be by your eyes, but now you're gonna bring those hands wide, elbows in and out in and out a really nice rotator cuff exercise here making sure though for this one we have tension on the band as we bring those elbows in elbows out so again just making sure we have tension on it three two relax here we're going to keep feet under shoulders Back is gonna be straight, we're gonna slightly hinge forward, keeping tension on the band, bring the band up by your hips, elbows behind. Just rowing up and down here. 
Last exercise though with the band, and then we're all done with it. Just up and down. Three, two, relax, dropping the weight, dropping the band, grabbing the weights. Water if you want, or just get right into the weights here. We're gonna start with an alternating shoulder press. So just alternating here. We have a fun one right off the bat, but then we're gonna stretch out the shoulders actually. A little different than class. Now we're gonna do both at the same time. We're gonna do the same stretches, just a little bit earlier today, mainly for my benefit. Bring those arms down, alternating front raises here. For this one, you can have palms face each other, palms face the ground. If you ever do a fly with, out in front, out to the side, make sure your pinkies are pointing towards the ground and your thumbs pointing higher. Three, two, out to the side here and hold. So for this one, palms facing the ground. Everyone's favorite that we're gonna do for like a minute. Or we can just do this for the rest of it. So it's just 20 minutes of holding and then Everyone's like, I don't like those videos anymore. You made us hold it for so long. Keep holding. Almost there. Feels like it's been two minutes, but it's only been 27 seconds. Three, two, relax here. We're gonna do some curls next. So just palms face the ceiling. Curls nice and controlled, elbows at your side. Up and down, up and down. As we go into this one now, palms face each other and curl. Working the bicep, but also the forearms at the same time here with the different grip changes. Palms face the ground, keeping those elbows at your side. Up and down. One more time, palms face the ceiling. And palms face each other. And palms face the ground. Three, two, relax here. Oh no, we turn off the lights. We're that active. Bring those elbows up to shoulder height, swing those weights out and back, out and back. Gosh, we must really not be moving if they really don't think that we're in here, gosh. They can't tell that we're working out. Oh man, what if in the video, that's when the lights actually turn out. Three, two, Relax here. Shoulder shrugs up and down, a little stretching. The shrugs and the rolls. And the rolls. Yesterday was also Valentine's Day. The day before that was Fat Tuesday. Reverse it. People get their poochkis. Scott, could you get a poochki? Do you, do you pronounce it Puczki? Oh, good. I have a very Polish friend, so I'm like, I hope he would be proud of me. Left ear, left shoulder. It's Polish, right? Oh, good, now I'm just... <laughs> right ear. I drove past Johnson's on Fat Tuesday and the Johnson's Bakery was just packed. Coming out of this, hands together, weights together. Elbows close, pressing it up and down. Our uh, person who organizes the books is, um, works at Johnson's and she told me all the Puchkis that were sold and now they got all the 
heart-shaped cookies and one company alone ordered 600 of the heart-shaped cookies there. I was like, oh my gosh, three, two, relax. I can tell you it wasn't the city that ordered the 600 cookies or if Josh didn't find out, gosh, that'd be something. Here, we're gonna work the shoulders again. So for this one, bring those arms up, palms facing each other, and drive. And drive. You know, when I made the, the first set of these videos, I thought of some classes that, like, you know, I don't even know if they're listening to me anymore because they just start talking. So I'm like, I think they're probably just doing this and ignoring what Josh is saying. They know who they are. And then they're going to laugh at this. Probably not laugh. Three, two, relax here. All right. One arm going to be half. So elbow in, holding that curl. Other one up and down here. Up and down. I was contemplating having Emily, my girlfriend, guest star or do something and I'm like maybe she would laugh at my jokes and she would definitely would not. So I was like, yeah, maybe that wouldn't be good if she's here. People would enjoy seeing her on it, but I'm like there. Having her do a fake laugh at one of my jokes, I think would be, that hurt me. Other one to half, curling the other. Up and down, up and down. I had some people in class Yesterday also told me I should get her a ring for Valentine's Day, and I was like, oh gosh. I can confirm no ring was received. I didn't get a ring, so. Three, two, relax. And I figured I'm not gonna get her another ring pop. She already got one for Christmas, so she liked that. Leaning forward here again. For this one now, we're just gonna do alternating rows. So right hand to right side of the hip, bring that left hand to the left side, up and down. Bring that elbow back, squeeze that shoulder blade. And up and down. Three, Two, relax, standing up nice and tall here, elbows at your side, palms up, palms down, up and down. Hopefully everyone had a good Valentine's Day. Did you cook, Scott? I cooked too. It turned out very well. Well, it turned out, not as expected. Three, two, relax, shake it out. One more time here. Well, now we're gonna have the palms facing each other, actually. Just up and down to start. Air traffic control. And now we'll go palms up, palms down. I decided to make a, uh, a pizza bake. And I was going to have like little breadstick hearts in it. And Emily was going to think it was cute. Three, two, relax, holding those weights out to the, out to the front and hold. And so then I remember telling all the classes about that and they all awed at how cute that would be to put tiny breadsticks in a pizza bake. And then I told Emily that idea and she was like, no awe. And I was like, I knew you weren't gonna awe at that. And she was like, you get enough attention from the old people. I'm like, wow, calling them old people, Emily. Out to the side now. But it turned out to be a very good dish. Three two, relax, shoulder rolls here, the stretches again. And it was basically just my egg bake recipe without eggs and more pizza sauce. 
reverse it. I do biscuit dough and pizza sauce and pesto and mix it all together, put it in a cast iron skillet, left to your left shoulder. But I should put tin foil on it, hoping that the pizza sauce wouldn't go crazy in the oven. Right ear, right shoulder. But then it didn't make the biscuits like crispy, and I was like, oh. It was still very good though. If you need the recipe, I should have it. Relax here. We're gonna do some calf raises next. If you've been in the classes, you know my favorite ones. So heels pointing in, toes pointing out, up and down. I think we did this sequence in the first video too, but it's my favorite way to train calves. They don't look like they're trained, but they are. Three, two, relax here. Toes pointing forward. And same thing, up on the toes, down. For any of these, if you want, you can also just hold on to the wall or the chair again, drop one weight. Definitely, definitely working our balance here, so always make sure we're going at our own pace. Bring those toes inward just slightly. Up on the toes and down. Up and down. For this one, your toes are going to want to come out. Make sure they're pointing in just a little bit as we go here. Up on the toes and down. Up on the toes and down. Three, two, relax here. We're gonna bring those feet shoulder width. Just doing some mini squats here to start. So hands together, weights together, keeping that chest up, hips back, knees, track over toes and back up. Keeping that chest up, going down as far as you want. You could be right here. You could be lower and up. I did not pull the mic up from off my shirt. So scared to do that there. I was like, do not hit the cord, Josh. I succeeded. Three, two, relax. We're gonna do some hamstring curls next. So. Bring one leg just slightly behind, making sure that heel is off the ground. I'll show from this point of view. So, leg behind, kick that hamstring up, kick that heel up, engaging the hamstring, biceps femoris, up and down, up and down. Again, this one where you're also using some balance, so by that chair, the wall. Don't hold on to somebody, Jim. Don't do that. I hope he was doing that in this part of the video now. Three, two, relax. Again, other leg just slightly behind. Heel off and driving that heel up and down, up and down. Oh, the sun's out now. Looks nice outside. Well, snow, but definitely a better February than I was anticipating. I didn't really get to snowshoe, though, which has been kind of a bummer. Three, two, relax here, shaking the legs out. Feeling it on that left foot still. Gosh, Josh. Okay, next up. Do with or without weights again by that wall if you want to be. Keeping that left foot planted right out front, side, behind. Front, side, behind. So again, going as far back as you feel comfortable. Making sure we're not going to lean forward and back. Keeping that chest nice and tall. Front side behind, side behind, front side behind. One more front side 
behind. Switching feet here, so other foot planted. Front, tap, side, tap, behind. Again, not that lean, like so. Stay nice and tall. You can switch it up sometimes and just go sides for a little bit if you want. I've probably done that a few times now. Front, side, behind. Front, side, behind. Keep it going. And one more. Front, side, behind. Okay. For this one, we're going to go onto our heels. So lifting the toes off. Again, not a big range of, not looking like anything. Walking it forward and back on the heels. Back in Madison when I taught running classes oh, many moons ago. This was one of my favorite exercises to start. Because when you run, you really want that, those toes lifted as much as they can be. That you wouldn't think is the case, but it is. Three, two, relax, shaking the feet out. We're going to end today with a squat hold, then we'll cool it down. So feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing out. Don't hit the cord, Josh. Okay. Squatting down and hold. Chest up, hips back, knees track over toes, and hold. Keep holding. Keep holding. I feel like these go a lot slower when you're on camera doing them, you know? In the class, they're shared suffering alone, and now it's just like, oh, it's just me suffering. Three, two, relax. Drop the weights, grabbing some water. And if you want, time to stretch next here. Hands on the hips and some hip circles. Oh no. Hey, switching here. Can't believe they don't think we're doing anything in the class. Let's bring an arm across, pulling on that shoulder. And yeah, doing some like step touches or walking around would help, Josh. Switching here. Coming out of this, let's go left to your left shoulder again. I think we were trying to get the rights to play Shania Twain to these videos and it did not work out, did not get that. Right ear, right shoulder. Maybe the next time we do videos, we'll get Shania. Coming out of this, leaning forward right, I'm going in. Make some circles, big or small, fast or slow, whatever you're feeling. Switching directions, keep making those circles. Three, two, switching arms here. Keep making those circles. Think about what you're gonna have for dinner. Switch directions. I told Emily she could have the rest of the Valentine's food leftovers, and I'm like, I regret saying that. Coming up here, shoulder rolls again. We also got a Dairy Queen Heart Blizzard cake, and I'm like, ah, oh, I really hope there's some here. Reverse it. I also have to just buy myself a cake. Three, two, 
Relax, feet close together. Hinging at the hips, lean forward, collapsing the chest into the legs. You can let your arms hang. You could grab onto your elbows. Sway side to side. Whatever you're feeling here. Really feeling that toe still. Three, two, relax here. Bringing those feet wide. Opposite hand, opposite foot reaches. I have uh, one of our participants in this, one of these classes watches uh, True Detective, so the finale is next weekend, so hopefully it was a good ending, Linda. You thought with Jodie Foster it would have been better. Three, two, Relax, cross the arms, inhale them up and down. The finale might be good, Josh. Down, up, down, up, down. One more, up, down, and always finish with hugs. Good job today, everybody. Hopefully, I'll be back soon, and can't wait to see you in classes again. Hope you enjoyed. 